passieren. What's up guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Rush, back at it again today. Well today we have an exciting video for you guys. If you saw my last upload, uh, we got to check out my buddy's 2018 Mustang GT with a Whipple. Uh, we did a six month update, kind of seeing where the car is at, how it's been owning it, everything like that. Within that video, we went for a drive because I wanted to see what the stage two is all about with the Whipple. Um, obviously I've been thinking and talking about boosting my Mustang and uh, I want to see kind of what's out there and then make the right decision when it comes to uh, you know getting boost for my car so uh, he took me for a spin we got to kind of see how the car is and a lot of you guys were very upset that he didn't bang gears and really kind of rev out the coyote and uh, honestly I was pretty surprised too I was hoping that he would but you know at the end of the day it's his car and his build and uh, he's just being a little cautious a little paranoid obviously with the all the MT82 issues that you hear about out there and transmissions going out and stuff like that um, sometimes playing it safe might be a better or bet um, so after we got back from that little test drive uh, I asked him if he's ever tried out a NA car and you know he told me he didn't so as you guys know my car is kind of an NA build right now um, I have a 85 a JLT intake and a tune by Lund uh, pretty straightforward setup pretty simple setup a lot of Mustangs uh, are running this type of setup and uh, you know my friend Shaq, who owns that 2018, has never been NA. He just went straight from, um, you know, being stock to being uh, boosted. So I wanted to kind of show him what he missed out on in between, in the middle, and we took a spin. So obviously, you guys know me. I like to bang gears. I like to kind of, you know, let it rip and, and have fun with it. I bought this car to enjoy it, and uh, you know, opening it up and having fun is what it's all about. You know, I feel like these cars were designed to be driven. Uh, they're, they're sports cars at the end of the day, and if we're spending the money, might as well kind of enjoy it and, and have fun with it um, the way it's meant to be right so anyways we did uh, two pulls uh, both were from like first gear and one I had traction control on and one I had took it off and I think his reaction is pretty priceless especially uh, considering that he drives a fast car you know his car is quick it's making about 200 maybe 250 uh, horsepower more than my car so it definitely was pretty funny to see his reaction and see that he was look well, it looked like pretty impressed with the car and and how it got moving so um, enjoy the footage. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the uh, comments below. All right, hold it right there. So I just wanted to show you the NA. How did it feel? It felt it has good power, it's, right? Yeah. For NA. I mean, you could definitely tell the difference. Yeah, of course. Because like I've been in the passenger seat of my car, and yeah, you, I mean, this is still fucking fast, though. Yeah. I mean, just for like still some fast light. enough to scare you. Like, oh yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. throws you back to the seat. Like first gear, you felt that thing. Was, yeah. I never do. Like I, I don't like doing that with my car. I feel like my car would be even worse. But you, I saw that thing like literally going like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> so today, guys, we're given the my friend who has the Whipple uh, Mustang a ride because he actually didn't go through the same process that I did um, in terms of like going NA first and then going to like a you know boost. He just jumped right into a Whipple um, and skipped all the other stuff, which is smart if you want to save the money and stuff, right? Like you already have a game plan, and that's the thing. Like if you are um, like building one of these cars have a plan going into it because you'll save a lot of money in time would you agree yeah you know like like if you have a, a plan set like yo i want to make this much horsepower yeah, that's, this is that's what exactly what I, I had a plan like a, I yeah had a you had a vision from day one boost and then keep going up, from there. up there yeah. yeah 
so for me I had a different kind of thing because I, I make videos I make content so for me it makes more sense to go through you know and, and start off NA show what the car can do and then move up from there but for a normal person might not be the best route you know so for me it's a, it's a good return spending the money getting you know the intake getting the 85 and the tune by Lund um, but now I feel like you know I kind of enjoyed it it's time to move on to the next step so having a plan extremely important um, you know you guys got his reaction so that was kind of cool uh, seeing what he thought of it so I just took a ride in his car a little earlier today and I kind of felt how that was and obviously it's gonna feel a lot stronger uh, of a pull and definitely more aggressive you feel that that push coming a lot harder so these cars Nacho Aspirate those still do give you really good performance for the money I mean there's a big difference between how much he paid where he's at versus how much I paid where I'm at so that has to be factored in too right so you know you're, you're into your car close to you know let's say fourteen fifty thousand dollars this car probably a little less you know I still do have some stuff in here you know the course exhaust the MGW all this stuff kind of adds up but maybe like three four five grand something like that in that range a little less maybe even but you know I'm still pretty it satisfied was, with it. definitely still enough to hurt feelings. Hurt feelings, yeah. And it, it gets the car moving for sure. Yeah, dude. So 85 definitely wakes this thing up, you can tell. Like yeah. I can't wait to uh put 85 on in my car. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah. You know, with what you have going on, it's gonna be insane. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think of me banging gears though? You don't like doing that, huh? Yeah. You scared him for my transmission no, too now? It's cool to feel it in the passenger seat. Yeah. It's definitely one thing being in the driver's seat and one thing in the passenger. Yeah. Everybody say that. Yeah, banging gears is definitely cool. It's, it's fun, uh, uh, but you are a little off on the edge. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable doing it in my car. Yeah, is this bike going to pass me or not? He's just here. and everything yeah, works a lot better in track mode. This thing rips, dude. <laughs> yeah, any Mustangs are fun, especially manual. Yeah. They're they're fun cars, man. They're... This thing rips for what it is, dude. Everyone's like boost, boost, boost. I mean, boost yeah, is great, yeah. but oh, for like you know, for the value that you get yeah. being naturally aspirated, this yeah. thing's fun. Definitely a fun time. Yeah, dude. That's that's freaking fast. <laughs> <laughs> and that's coming from a Whipple Mustang, guys. Yeah. So you know. A lot of you are going to be, oh, it's slow, it's NA, whatever, but, you know, it, it feels quick. It definitely moves, like, it's, the car doesn't feel like a slouch. Um, so, I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys, uh, just to get a different perspective. So, Whipple owner tries that kind of an NA Mustang, sees how he likes it. If you want to drive it, you're more than welcome to take it for a rip, um, see what you think. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, check him out on Instagram. You want to go ahead and shout out your Instagram? Yeah, it's shack.mumtaz underscore. Underscore. All right, guys, give him a shout out. Check him out. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.